just another beautiful day in the food forest. It is rainy today, but I feel like I have not shared that much info or footage with you guys and gals and thems about my raspberries. Now, raspberries basically grow themselves. Even when I first put these things in and like the soil was super poor. Well, I mean the soil is still super poor as clay here. And I didn't put down all this mulch at that time. And these things were like crazy. This. So all of these canes and stuff you see bouncing all over. Are raspberries. This is the Cascade Raspberry. Right. It's uh, fruiting now. It's got plenty of fruit on it. It also has thorns, which is why I'm just really not trying to climb, just in, not gonna climb into the raspberry patch because I'm not a cuckoo path or whatever. But that's what it looks like. But I want to tell y'all, this thing is vigorous. It, um, now I will say that I didn't know how to properly prune or care for raspberry raspberry bushes plants whatever when i first put this thing in and it got real crazy and it's still getting like wild like this raspberry is all over so this started off as one little scraggly looking plant i took some cuttings from it um in the cool season last year and started another patch of this someplace else now my food force is still kind of getting established I just added like a gazillion feet, aka okay, three feet of mulch during this past fall, winter, and still at it. So, um, that has greatly increased the available nutrients and stuff for my plants already. Not that this raspberry plant clearly needed it. I'm trying to let y'all look at my ugly toes. But, anyways, so. I think with these two, because the Cascade, it literally just keeps going, right? And then it sends out canes uh, under the ground, like other uh, brambles, and they pop up and do the same thing. So, now this is a, Lord, the promo cane, not a promo cane, that's the one for the first year. Whatever the second one is, it fruits on canes from the year before right so you can't you have to cut them back after they fruit which is like summertime when these will start getting ripe i got a few last year which was its second year in the ground and it needed that second year you know because it fruits on the canes from the year before and it's just one it was much smaller than this though not by any any meaning of the word small a small plant uh, my fig is kicking back which I feel like this is right here in my face you might want to see a, li a little bit um, I am training it well I was training it through the branches of this fig because figs actually well so far for me the figs haven't been so big or heavy that they've been bowing the branches so I figured the fig tree could hold the weight of some raspberries to keep them off the ground and away from the slugs and other evil and sinister thieves that be out here in my little fruit forest. So, um, okay, in order to propagate these raspberries in general, you can take cuttings from them. I have successfully done soft cuttings like that are still green but like you don't have to let the whole cane fruit you could take cuttings from this and I've done hardwood cuttings which I will show you one of my success stories and I think that one did better than the others because of its placement because I've tried cuttings indoors and also right in the food forest and this heavy clay does not make a, a good environment for rooting new plants because those roots are going to be like soft and weak or whatever and clay 
I was just let me say that this clay trying to dig in this in the summer with a, with using an actual shovel as a actual person was a struggle so like the plants can't fight against all of this clay it makes it really difficult to cut to do cuttings in place but this is another cascade I took a huge cutting because I mean you have to just prune the canes off anyway so while I was doing that I took a couple and shoved them in the ground and this one's putting off some new growth now it is slow right now but like I said I've had certain cuttings other things take off so quickly like in my indoor pots because I rooted them in like worm castings so in there which okay worm castings are soft and you know fill a lot of nutrients so having like that like those immediate nutrients available to them and then not having to fight to put down roots really makes the process much simpler for you of course and also for the plants but adding all of this mulch has really increased the vigor of this plant it just looks healthier I mean, it did well last year. I got a good little bit of raspberries off of them. These are golden raspberries, the Cascade ones. But you see how many canes there are now that harvest is going to be wild. I just wish I had more trees in place to keep them off the ground. But with that being said, I am. I did order some clumping bamboo seeds and I have some sugar cane that's in there growing. Um, which I will definitely show y'all when that becomes a thing because it's gonna take a minute for the sugar cane and bamboo to get established to train my raspberries through so This little guy is spreading. This is my crimson king raspberry Which is vigorous It really took off this year, but it's only a second year in here So it's not like it would it did a good job last year I got so many raspberries in the fall and that was its literal first year in the ground So I kind of went nibbling on these not that you know that because they're just going to be missing. But this is really the color that they'll be as they get ripe. And it is spreading quite a bit. You can um, also get more plants from this by just let, you can just let it spread, right? And then come in and pull one of the, or dig, one of the new plants out of the ground and then go put it someplace else. I've done that too then it'll do the same thing put down some roots settle in and start putting off new canes and spread so if you want a gazillion for a million raspberry patches you can do that <laughs> it really wouldn't take long to make happen so I put this root bark back here it adds drainage to the clay and also I put it in here with the intent also of using it to um trellis or whatever keep the raspberries off the ground but it also looks like that this raspberry plant has got more nutrition from all the mulching that i did this past season that these newer canes are stronger and more upright than last year's canes so oh the crimson king is a double fruiting raspberry so it'll fruit on first year canes in the fall and then on those same cane, canes which which are at that point are second year canes in the spring but on the lower part of those second year canes which i feel like is confusing but it is what it is okay it is a very confusing process but I do recommend just leaving the raspberry lawn to observe it the first year if you're like nervous and just really want that first year's harvest. But this is a cane from last year. And I feel sure like this is a little bit more scrawny than the newer canes which are, you know, like the same color but they're thicker. Like this one is a lot thicker. It's a new cane. It'll fruit in the fall. So it's been spreading. Yes. That's right. And yeah, that's just a and these also have thorns so and my third well actually I think I have another raspberry that's not that I have no idea what raspberry it is because I thought it was dead to be honest it uh got attacked by a weed eater through no fault of mine because I don't use weed eaters anymore anyways that's not the point 
So let me show y'all this other type of raspberry that is also delicious. And oh, also let's keep in mind the Crimson King Raspberry is a more mild flavor. The gold ones are super tart. If you like tart raspberries, like they will kick you in the throat when you eat them. And the these are a pink ones. They're called um double gold i think although they they look pink to the eye so that's whatever i didn't name them i'm just telling you what they're called from the place i got them from so these are kind of getting to the color it'll be pink ish like this but even more so like they'll be more noticeably pink they're also a double fruiting raspberry like the crimson king so the first year canes will fruit in the fall and then second year canes will fruit in the spring now you can prune off the tops where see it'll be this color okay you can prune off the tops from the fall growth if you want to but i feel like the thing about that is is that if you haven't grown these before it's so easy to make them make a mistake and then prune them down to a point where like you get less fruit because this it's explained it a different way this is like the these are now fruiting in the spring it's may on the bottom portion of the same canes from fall so it's now a second year cane the top part which has now been pruned off imagine here that fruited for me in the fall i just recently pruned it off right and now the bottom part of the same canes are fruiting look that was confusing for me to learn i had to watch some do some research so i felt like i want to share that with people so y'all will know and hopefully that makes it less confusing Whew, these raspberries definitely will form a hedge this was one plant that i put in and now it's spread to this and it's spreading across on the other side of the gate and over here and also over here this little squiggle is a raspberry it's been run over a couple times with me coming through with the wheelbarrow but i didn't tell it to grow over there so anyways that is just the 101 i guess you can say on raspberries so y'all can see what's happening with the raspberries and um i will definitely come back when i start getting a heavier harvest so you can see how beautiful raspberries are when they're like actually fruiting and close to harvesting because you have like all of these bright berries on them um they just look really great too although they are a little insidious with their thorns oh they're also thornless types of raspberries apparently but oh i have one the shortcake it look but it seems to grow a little far less vigorously so if you have some good soil you could try it but i'm working with clay right now and topping it up with mulch so it's a process I haven't gotten any fruit off of that yet so raspberry shortcake that's what it's called a thornless variety and short but of course i will update y'all if this thing ever decides it wants to give me some fruit so if you want to keep up with all of that you know how to like and subscribe and of course share because you know that's also fabulous so um i think that's all for today i'm gonna start running my mouth and this is home is a jungle Bye.